This is beautiful. It's nice, right? It's so pretty. In just a few short days, life on the land will change forever. Because in a few days from today, I have concrete coming, which means I gotta do so many things before concrete gets here. Having the concrete poured will officially change the landscape of the entire property and ultimately bring us even closer to our dream of owning and operating a beautiful short-term vacation rental right here in Canyon Lake. But in order to fulfill that dream, we have to face reality. Oh, that's at least, uh, that's at least 70 pounds right there. Will I be able to meet the deadline? Can I push through the pain and make my wife and I's dream come true? Find out now. Hey guys, my name is Daryl Darks. And if you're new to my channel, I just quit my $150,000 a year sales job to start a real estate business. And my wife Lori and I just bought our first property, a beautiful one acre lot located in Canyon Lake, Texas, where we're gonna be building a short term vacation rental property from the ground up. And we're bringing you along for the entire journey. Leading up until this point of the journey, I've been digging the footings for the foundation. And the foundation has 20 individual spread footings and each of the footings go down 24 inches deep and the 24 inches wide as well. And I've tried everything to do this. I've tried using a mini excavator to dig them. I've tried using an auger drill. I've tried using a rotary hammer drill. I've even tried an anchor bar. And ironically, the best tool for breaking this tough and rocky clay loam and limestone soil is this jackhammer that my neighbor Dennis is letting me borrow. Literally, its only downside is how long it actually takes to dig down to the footing depth is 24 inches. Do you wanna guess how long it actually takes to completely jackhammer and shovel out all the dirt for one footing down to 24 inches? Drum roll, please. Each footing takes four hours to dig from start to finish. Yes, <laughs> it takes a long time craziness I know and that's because it actually takes seven different rounds of jackhammering and shoveling to fully dig out a footing down to 24 inches but nevertheless I keep at it and at this point I've actually dug 14 footings and I have six more to go plus the front and back deck so I'm really getting close to finishing what's up you guys today we're back on the land and today is officially an epic day because we are starting the last row of holes to be dug for this house's foundation. I'm so excited. So today I'm doing the last hole on this third row and then I'll end the day by doing the first hole on that row. take a little stroll. I'm back here at the very end of the land and it's remarkably flat. It's pretty crazy. So over here to my right, we have a lot of beautiful limestone. And then over here, we just have this, this beautiful 100 acre property to my left is what we have over here. And it's amazing. I think this is a perfect spot for cornhole or something very like cool for a guest that they can get anywhere else. Maybe cornhole is not it, but something. We can do something with this that's like really awesome as another amenity. And it's at the very back of the property. So it's really utilizing the entire acre of space that we have here, which is super cool. <sighs> okay. So yeah, as I was at the back of the property, you see that I looked over for a second there. And actually, I think I may have spotted what could have been a skunk, but I obviously wasn't taking any chances and I took off sprinting. <laughs> I don't know what I just saw, but I'm out. Now, listen, if you're like me and you enjoy a little bit of coziness, a little bit of privacy, don't worry. We're going to install fences around the entire property. Okay. So you really shouldn't have to be <laughs> running up a hill like me. <laughs> I probably just saw a shadow of nothing. This is beautiful. It's nice, right? It's so pretty. 
I mean, the last time I was out here, it was still, I mean, obviously we couldn't walk through here. Yeah, it was all woods. <sighs> I can't believe this all belongs to us. Yep, it's all ours. So although it may look like I'm on this journey entirely alone, I'm actually really not. So yes, I'm out here physically doing all of the work, but my family is definitely in my corner and they're always supporting me and motivating me to keep pushing. So it was really cool to have my wife and in-laws out to come pay me a little feel good visit at the land. So those are my in-laws and my father-in-law absolutely loves his metal detector. He was actually looking for gold on the land, <laughs> but unfortunately we didn't strike it rich <laughs> with finding gold in our land. But Hopefully, Lord willing, the Airbnb is a gold mine in and of itself. You know what's so funny? I just counted how long that I've been moving earth on this property. Technically four weeks if you count the excavator. Three if you count by hand. I'm just digging, like no reward, you know? Like no like gratification other than the satisfaction of digging the holes and know you're doing the right thing. So true with Kathy from Chick-fil-A. So he is uh, by far one of my favorite business owners because I love in the book that he wrote, Eat More Chicken, Inspire More People. I love how he talks about how even when his son starts taking over the business and they're making millions and millions of dollars, he would still go to the restaurants and be the, like the first person to pick up trash from the parking lot. Like, like in today's business age, what we glorify are the CEOs in the private jet or, you know, no diss, going to space, whatever. And that's cool. Like, that's awesome, man. It, it's like, do your thing. But... My favorite business owners that I look up to are oftentimes like very overlooked by a lot of people and um, maybe not well known because they do the things that aren't glamorous. And that's my whole point with what I'm doing right now out here digging these holes. I'm sure there's a reward coming pretty soon with my name on it. And hopefully it's in the form of a lot of guests. Cause I really cannot wait until you're here. <laughs> and that was the mindset that I used to finish the job of digging 20 individual footings down to 24 inches for the house, plus all the deck footings for the front and back decks that the house will have. Victory! I did it, I did it. I dug out the foundation with a shovel and a jackhammer and my hands is hit. Oh my gosh. You guys, you have no idea. Or you probably do. You've been watching me. So you have an idea of <laughs> how much effort that took. That was physically exhausting, but I'm so glad that I did it. I can say that I did it now. All I'm saying is that I'm just very happy that it's over with. I'm done. All I gotta do now is come back with some rebar some sono tubes, some forms, and I can pour some concrete. And then I'm building something for real now. Oh my gosh, I'm just so thankful. And I'm also so thankful for you guys watching the videos, for subscribing to the channel. Do so if you haven't done already, and like the video, comment as well. And as always, I can't wait until you're here. See you guys. Next time on the channel with the concrete truck officially coming to pour our pier and beam foundation in just a few days it's time to start creating all of the forms that will hold our house's concrete together i have to make a total of 24 forms plus cut and bend all of the rebar that will hold our concrete together but as a first time new construction builder mistakes will be made and lessons will be learned but it's all a part of the journey of building an A-frame for Airbnb from the ground up.